let's take the example of propanoic acid it's actually C2 H5 COOH this is propanoic acid So this is the fully displayed formula of propanoic acid because you can see I have seen I have shown all the carbon hydrogen bonds, the carbon carbon bonds, the carbon oxygen double bond, the carbon oxygen single bond, the oxygen hydrogen bond. Again, this is called the fully displayed formula because I am showing all the bonds. Then we have something called the structural formula. So the structural formula is basically a condensed form of the fully displayed formula. So if you remember the example of ethanol. This was ethanol. So this was the structure. This was the fully displayed formula. So the structural formula basically shows individual carbon atoms and uh, and the atoms bonded to it. So for example, the 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 structural formula for this will become CH3 because we can see that on this carbon atom three hydrogens attached and then it's bonded to one carbon atom. So we write that in front of it and to that carbon atom there are two hydrogens attached and then to this carbon atom an OH group is attached as well. So this is called the structural formula CH3 CH2 OH and this is called a structural formula because it actually shows what the structure looks like what each carbon atom is bonded to. Uh, so uh, what each carbon each carbon atom uh, has uh, is has exactly adjacent to it. Now let's take the example of propanoic acid again. that this was ethanol now we are taking propanoic acid so this is propanoic acid so how we write the uh, the, con the structural formula is again CH3 because this carbon is attached to three hydrogens then it is attached to a carbon which is attached to two hydrogens and it is attached to a carbon which is attached to an, an oxygen atom another oxygen atom and a hydrogen atom so this is the structural formula for propanoic acid you can also write it as CH3 CH2 CO2 CO2 because you can see there are two oxygen atoms and H so CH3 CH2 CO2 H uh, this is propanoic acid now what if we have branched isomers how do we write the structural formula then so let's take the example of the branched isomer the branched structure that we that we had so this was the branched isomer that we have had now you can see that this so you can see that again we will always write the longest chain we will always write the longest chain so this becomes CH3 CH then we put this methyl group in brackets we put the methyl group in brackets to show that this is not a part of the main chain it is a part of the branch not a part of the main chain and then CH2 because it is a part of the main chain and CH3 because this is also part of the main chain so we can either write it like this or we can write it like CH3 whole twice CH CH2 CH3 now in this case what what I've done is basically you can see that this carbon atom that I po that I'm pointing at it's attached to CH3 over here and it's attached to CH3 over here so I can say CH3 whole twice because two CH3s attached to the same carbon atom and this is also attached to an H which I've shown over here and then CH2 CH3 because CH2 CH3 so you can write it in either way I like both these ways in fact I like this uh, more because you are showing that it's bonded to the CH3 is not a part of the main chain it's a part of the branch but 
in, in the exam, they often give these type of formulas, this structural formula. So you should know what it signifies. You should know what, what molecule it is showing. Now, what if we